Basecamp tutorial for beginners how to use Basecamp for management. Hello guys, welcome back to Software is Made Easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Basecamp for your management needs. What are the features about this platform? What that you need to know. So without any delay, let's get into the video. So as you can see, I have Basecamp.com open for me on my web browser and it is the refreshingly simple and remarkably effective project management platform. You can managing people and projects under pressure is tough enough. Unfortunately, lots of softwares makes it worse by overcomplicating things. Basecamp's different. So this is what they say. This is their homepage. And as you can see, it is it looks really good. It is a really good platform. You can work on your management in a really good way. It is no more messy email threads, easier to track conversations. Everything is very easy with Basecamp. So it has the priced versions and it also has a free version. So we are obviously going to go with the free version. But before that, I'm going to show you a little bit into their pricing plans so that you have an idea what you're going to get for free and what you are not going to get for free for a limited time sign up before third december 31 and your first three users are entirely free okay what's included all for just 11 dollar per month user plus only bill you for people who work for a company or organization okay so they have one full package and they have one free package they don't have much complicated packages which uh, makes it easier for you to know which one do you want to use okay so first of all you, you get unlimited projects you get every single feature you get 500 gb storage space you get time tested reliability you get priority support you get advanced client access you get complimentary classes you get unlimited integrations and you only pay for employees so no good better best just the best okay so they don't have too much packages this is their only packages for 11 dollar per month if you pay this uh, 11 dollar per month per user okay so if you pay this for this package you basically get everything in base camp so uh, we are not going to go into that because we are going to try the free version of the base camp so i'm just going to go and click on this try base camp for free it doesn't require any kind of credit card so you can just go on and i'm going to enter my name then i have to enter my email address uh wait a second next step i need to type in a password for myself i'm going to do that really quick okay so i'm just going to click my click and create my account okay so as you can see my account has been created so thanks for signing up your account is ready to go now you have one central organized place and this is basically from welcome from jason fried which is who is the ceo okay so let's see my account now what you have here is you have an option to make a new project for yourself and then you have to an option to invite people there is a sample of customer support an example of how customer support team might use basecamp and also a sample of making a podcast example using uh, basecamp to produce a podcast you have your schedule and your assignments right here and whatever your upcoming events are going to show on this calendar and you have anything assignment that there is a uh, to-do stuff is going to show up here then they have a small menu on top you have your home you have your lineup you have pings you have hey you have activity and my stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into creation of my own new project and name this project uh, let's say i'm going to name it hiring employees that's my new project that i need to work on and an uh, optional description if you have any plans or any more details about that specific plan you can just add them here then you have a product schedule i'm going to click on pick a date let's say it is 23 it is going to start in 23 and it is going to end at 29 so from 23 to 29 i need to do all the things that are required and i need my employees until 29 and recruited and everything so i'm just going to this product is invite only people who are explicitly invited can see this project okay if you want to change this setting you can give all the people access to this project but i'm going to keep it to invite only then i'm going to go down and i'm going to click on this and create this project okay so the project is hiring employees now what you have here is your message board anything you have if you have announcements if you have ideas if you have progress about progress updates go on to click on this one you uh, basically get your message then what your your message about let's say update is my topic and i need to basically update everyone about this project and what they need to do and i'm going to post this message when i'm going to post this message it will appear in the messages and everyone can see it every person that is uh, added in that specific uh, task is going to see this now okay i'm going to on to my hiring employees again okay so this is my first message update now what 
to add on to do's okay i have a to-do list a to-do list is basically interviews uh, this is the first step of the whole you know employment process i'm going to add list and in that list assigned to i'm going to add uh, describe this to do i'm going to add this to do to uh, type names to assign when done notify to this and you on this date and any extra details i'm going to add this to do list and it will be added after that i can add other uh, you know things as well this is a subscriber and subscriber okay this is basically my first task and i'm going to go on to my hiring employees again now what i need to do is i need a documents and files anything uh the all the interviews and cvs of the people that come in for the interview will be given here because it is basically a hiring employees task a uh, whole task so i need the files of the one thing that the documents hold is going to be the series of the persons coming for interviews you can just click on new and you can upload a file or you can create one using these links and you can add links or you can start a new document from right here after that you can just go back and here you can see you have your campfire chat casually with the group ask random questions and share stuff without ceremony so this was basically a message board this is going to be basically going to ping all the things that are important and people will be see it but it is basically a casual chat fire you can just go on to this campfire and you can chat to everyone like in real time and you can them greetings and everything and you can ask about the subject and you can just roam around and discuss everything if you want to then you have your schedule if there is some important date coming into your event if you want to add any kind of event to your uh, whole task you can just go on and add that after that you can just go back and hear your whole hiring employees that has been created this is your new project and you have your project today and Eamon added a new message and this was basically the project activity that was happening on a project and this was i i was basically adding different things so this was it uh, and then you can go on to the lineup and you can see what is uh, coming this is the lineup and 23 november is the date we are starting the hiring employees project every project that you have is going to line up here and you can see them and keep an eye on them then you have your pings in your pings basically pings are private chats with one person or a few okay so i'm going to start a private chat with uh, one employee that i have and you can add their name and their ping will open up and you can add private chat with them and then there is hey once you get going all your notifications will show up here all the notifications that you will have are going to show up here then you have your activity everything that has happened in the past time is going to come up here all the latest activities someone's assignments overdue to do's upcoming dates to do's added and completed someone's activity so this is basically all the categories of latest activity if you want to set uh, check for overdue to do's you can just go on to this option right here you can see what we need to do and if you want to see what has already been done you can just go on to here then you can go on to my stuff and my stuff it has my assignments my bookmarks my schedule drafts and recent activities and my boost you can uh, see everything if you want to and you can keep and look on everything and if you need to find something thing is you can just click on this button and you can find everything that you are looking for you can everything by anyone or everywhere okay guys so these were all the basics of Basecamp, and as you can see they were so easy and everything and there is nothing in this platform that is uh, ununderstandable everything is so user friendly and as a beginner you can just uh, you know start using Basecamp, and you'll be good to go and you can manage everything in a very in a very better manner than you are used to manage before so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful if you have any questions you can just comment it down in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys and i will see you guys in the next video until then take good care of yourself and bye bye